Cyber, Jack Kudale. <clears throat> nice, good to be here. Welcome to special episode of Profiles and Rest. Come on over, don't be shy. We'll get close because first, uh, you have a nice tailor. Yeah, and so do you. Yeah, I think yep. that this is the theme of Global Insurance Symposium. Yeah, and theme what's, of what's cyber. This, what's yeah. this called? This uh, is this striped. Yeah. What would we call this? Check to hide your guts. Checked. That's Checked. what I call it. Checks to hide your guts. Yes. Checks yeah. to hide your guts. I like that because I got a lot of guts to hide. Um, I'm going to take a guess. Sure. Cowbell Cyber is you sell cowbells to Saturday Night Live. And more of them. More is more, desired and more better. Cowbell. More cowbells is desired and I'll, better. I'll have to, if, if, I'm, yes. if I'm talented enough, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to edit this video and throw in some... <laughs> Some uh, it Will, just, Will Ferrell cult. That, that was going to be a great track, guys. What's the deal? Uh, are, are you sure that was sounding okay? I'll be honest, fellas, it was sounding great, but I could have used a little more cowbell. <laughs> so, let's take. Think of uh, telematics for auto and Fitbit for life. It's cowbells for cyber. I love it. Yeah. Uh, you're the founder and CEO yep. based in San Francisco, San Francisco, California. Uh, so tell me, what is Cowbell Cyber? Yeah, so I'll give you a little context before uh, we get in. Uh, I started, I founded Cowbell Cyber um, after a good 25 years in enterprise software led three cybersecurity startups out of Bay Area. And uh, you know, we get attacked every 40 seconds. That's 750 million attacks a year. And yet cyber insurance, which is the most technology savvy line of product, Should is, be. Is, is underwritten once a year based on 200 questions on a PDF and a lot of conference call and emails. It, it doesn't match the the possible changes of the exposure Precisely. over time. Precisely. So at Cowbell Cyber, uh, we are uh, we're taking, we're bringing cyber security and actuary together, for that. So we're taking an approach where we're identifying what we call insurable threats, the security threat that can be understood by a non-infosec person, right? And then using deep learning techniques so we can map it to the actual exposures. So, you know, enterprise risk manager who is buying cyber insurance or undergoing the process of obtaining cyber insurance. Or just worried about the cyber threat, like to, for mitigation and prevention. Yeah, and one of the big thing you will see with Cowbell, the approach we're bringing is we're actually quantifying these risk exposures on an individualized basis for an enterprise, which is, you know, beyond just prevention and detection of cyber threats, it's basically once the uh, cyber attacks happen yeah. already on the aftermath of cyber attack, you got to worry about recovery, response, and your residual risk that you would inherit, that you would be seeking cyber coverage for. So we are bringing what we call cowbell factor. And the name cowbell uh, is really early detection signal for risk transfer. So as the risk moves from different phases of cyber life cycle, cowbells act as a uh, risk insights for enterprise risk managers. So not only you can continuously understand your exposure, its impact, you can now be able to get a right coverage. You can implement some remediation guidance and you can also optimize uh, the premium. Because so, so, the, yeah. so you're saying the coverage would change over time as well? Well, the policy. Well, we don't have to uh, do a usage base yet, uh, for example. But you look at worker comps, you have a deposit premium to begin with, you true up at the end of the year, mm -hmm. you have the builder's uh, policy well, that yeah. you have a monthly reporting as the building uh, uh, gets constructed with the replacement cost changing. I 
I think it's cyber, it's just important to understand the uh, change uh, in cyber risk as you have a, a defined policy on an annual uh, basis. And you look at home owners is written once a year, uh, but auto is underwritten twice a year. Credit score changes, VMV record changes. Cyber is changing every second. Mm -hmm. And so why not look at cyber in a more realistic way, which is what it is, as opposed to writing it once a year and having uh, predefined sublimits across all the coverages. So in comparison to companies that might underwrite it once a year, yep. what's the advantage for them to underwrite it on a real-time basis? Yeah, so... I, and, and I understand yeah, the exposure is yeah, changing. Yeah. Does it make a marginal... Does it have enough of a marginal impact on it to move the needle that they need to consider that? I think the fundamental approach we're taking is uh, we're bringing uh, interlock between understanding the risk, which is a software platform, and the insurance program, which covers the risk, mm -hmm. right? So it doesn't have to be a premium that changes every hour, every month, every quarter. Uh, it's the getting the insights that uh, your cyber risk is changing, so that not only you can use it to understand your exposure accumulation, but if you're a carrier, you can look at loss control uh, mechanics. If you are a broker, you're looking at expediting and simplifying the process of obtaining cyber, so you don't have to go through the 200 questionnaire manual process, which is subjective and time consuming. Uh, but there are a lot of benefits that the platform is gonna bring. Uh, in order to just simplify the entire process of obtaining cyber insurance uh, and improving the risk uh, that the carrier might cover. So uh, from, from the start, who's your initial customer? So uh, initially, uh, and as we gear up to launch our platform later half of the year, uh, we're actually looking at the mid-market enterprises in retail, financial mm -hmm. services, and healthcare. So the actual direct customer? The they will be actual direct customers. Uh, we're building software platform that can be used by the risk managers at these mid-market retail, financial services, and healthcare industries. We're partnering with brokers to take the policy, which is a unique approach where we are looking to bundle the software platform and the insurance program mm -hmm. together. Right, and Smart. still use the existing channel, so we can enrich the broker partnership in all 51 admitted markets in the U.S. Uh, there are uh, 200 carriers that provide cyber today, but really only 10 to 20 have actual cyber product. So rest of them either desire to build a cyber product line, or no desire, <laughs> or uh, <laughs> they'll wait. They'll wait till it becomes successful. Possibly, yeah. uh, but I think with the value we bring to the table is we have the technology to understand the risk, which is a, among many, this is the biggest issue for Course. underwriters who wrote four billion worth of premium in 2018, and now you're looking over next six years, this is looking like a 20 plus billion dollar market. Yeah. So you wanna understand that risk, and we can bring that value to the reinsurers, to the carriers, and as well as to the broker by implementing the product at the enterprises uh, that truly desire to have this accurate cyber coverage. Yeah. Yeah. You heard it here first. There's only two ways to make money in business. You either bundle or you're on bundle. Yeah. I didn't say that first. You Google it, it's, yeah. it's been around for a while. Yeah. But it's an approach, because cyber itself is already unbundled. Yeah. And the a way the way to bring appropriate values to then to begin bundling the value in back, yeah. bring it back into the fold. So uh, it, it's actually an approach that we've taken with flood as well as trying to figure out how to bundle um, the the mono line back in because that's where the most value is. And why have two separate transactions when you can make it into one? So um, how has the accelerator helped you? Yeah. So I mean, by you the way, you you, yeah. you have experience. Yeah. So, I, so you you you're an entrepreneur. Uh, you've gone through this before. So if 
you know, you and I were talking, I would I would probably think you don't need an accelerator because you have experience. Yeah, you would. Yeah, you would. I I thought the same five months ago. And I'll tell you, five months ago, I simply just wanted to build a software tool. Yep. Solves a complex problem, easy to use, and sell it to everybody I know. Okay. The dream of everybody. (laughs) And I think, uh, you know, I 25 years in enterprise software, uh, but insurance is a very different uh, industry. And so me coming here, it helped me three ways. A, uh, now I can, uh, we have designed uh, the scope of the product being here. That's one. Two, uh, we have validated the distribution entry point. Right? We will be uh, working as an MGA, managing general agent for cyber, for select few partners, possibly one to begin with. Uh, and then third, uh, we truly uh, understood the requirements in cyber. And I think, I don't believe I would have been able to do those three things if I was not in Des Moines with an accelerator. I also second what you said before, is this demand for standalone and comprehensive cyber, the affirmative cyber (laughs) coverage uh, is increasing every second, every hour, every day. And that's what the industry is looking for, in particular the middle market that is very uninsured. Uh, That's what our focus is. the accelerator truly helped me as a guardrail to go in that direction. So, you know, a lot of people say that um, you kind of slow down at the accelerator to pick up speed on the other side. Yeah. You're not the and first one to say that. Yeah, and I think I have been able to, you know, look, our milestone is being when we go back in California, we're setting up office on May 1st. We got a team of eight that's ready to uh, uh, get going, and we have set the deadline to get our product out by InsureTech in September 2019. So, uh, InsureTech Connect? Yeah, InsureTech Connect, and then we'll follow up with uh, October with Advisement and Net Diligence type of uh, uh, platform for us to, but we want to get into the market uh, of selling policies by uh, Q1 of 2020. But we want to get our software platform ready. Uh, and so it's a, I call it a unique offering to separate good risk from bad risk. And uh, if we can achieve that one objective, we would have done a justice to building a company in a monoline cyber insurance. Group. Yep, absolutely. Uh, the company is Cowbell Cyber. Jeff Kudale, thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Okay. I appreciate awesome. it. Awesome, learned a lot.